Ear mites are very small parasites that infest the ear canal of cats and dogs. They are highly contagious from pet to pet. Infected mothers transmit the mites easily to their offspring, so the entire litter will be affected. Ear mites are spread by direct contact of a pet with an infested cat or dog. Ear mites are not contagious to humans. Common signs of ear mites include scratching at the ears and shaking the head. A dark waxy material may be observed in the ears of pets. When examined under a microscope, ear mites look similar to small crabs. Unlike ticks and fleas, ear mites are not blood suckers. Instead, they feed on the skin itself, or more accurately, on the tiny particles of dead skin that the ear canal is continually shedding. Ear mites are tiny, about the size of a grain of salt, but in large numbers, which is typical in ear mite infestations, they can cause severe inflammation deep inside the external ear canal. This inflammation is accompanied by persistent itching, which causes the pet to scratch almost continually. This scratching itself can lead to damage to the ear or secondary infections that are more serious than the ear mites themselves. If left untreated, rupture of the eardrum may occur and cause severe damage to the middle and inner ear, resulting in loss of balance and extreme pain. The ear mite life cycle begins when adult females lay eggs on the pet's skin. Within four days, eggs hatch into the larval stage. These immature ear mites feed for a period of days and then molt to the next stage. This stage, along with the next one, lasts for about three weeks. Then, adult ear mites emerge and the females begin to mate with males and lay eggs. Being familiar with the ear mite life cycle is important in order to help treat the infestation. Your veterinarian will prescribe a course of treatment that may last several weeks. It is essential that you administer treatment according to the directions, and periodic ear cleaning may be necessary to allow the medication to work properly. If you do not continue treatment as prescribed, it is probable that immature mites will be missed during their early molting stages, and reinfestation will occur within a matter of weeks. If you have several pets, it is essential to treat all of your pets at the same time to eliminate the possibility of transmission from one pet to another. Ear mites, like most other parasites, can be controlled with treatment at regular intervals by the owner. Left untreated, ear mites result in pain and may lead to serious infections for your pet.